This was a very special week for our ABC News family as we watch Robin Roberts say good morning America from the anchor desk for the first time in 174 days. It was a triumphant return from a difficult journey when the began when she announced she was leaving to receive a bone marrow transplant to fight a rare blood disease. The procedure laid waste to her immune system and Robin spent a month in the hospital, much of that in isolation. Her remarkable journey is captured on a full hour of 2020 tomorrow. Tonight, a preview. <laughs> the day has come. I can finally leave the hospital. Going home now! <laughs> Saying goodbye to my fabulous medical team at Sloan Kettering is bittersweet. First thing I want to put off when I get home. <laughs> Don't take it the wrong way. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> Except for the anniversary party. Yay! After 30 days of isolation, I take my first breath of fresh air. I remember the wind was blowing and feeling the wind and just feeling the air, it just washed over me. It's overwhelming to see the sky. I'm like how you all when you usually come to New York, golly, that's a building. <laughs> wow. Woo! There is no place like home. For the next few months, day in and day out, I would remain here in my apartment, retreating from the outside world and from the cameras too. Little by little, I began to add to my life, building up my system and getting strong. After five long months, I was now ready to venture out and start giving back. You look great. It's Thank so you. nice to Thank see you. you. Now, I could be the one to offer encouragement, and this morning to someone early in recovery from the very same transplant I had. David! Another reminder of how close this strikes, David Aponte is a colleague of mine, a sound man at ABC News. And look at who's, who's here. Sound I should man. Be sound I man to sound man. I should be doing exactly what you're doing. Never give up. Don't ever give up. And that's what we're doing. It's, it's nice to to talk to somebody who's in the same business and gone through it. Mm. Yeah, he is. I'm sorry for kissing you. I know no, we're supposed no, to I, no, I got, yell at us. I know. <laughs> it's worth it. I'll, I'll roll the dice. You're a family. You are forever family. To offer someone hope, to be in a position to give back, even something as simple as being able to sit down with my GMA co-anchors at a restaurant where we'd eaten together so many times before. Sitting on the couch the day of the diagnosis and something that you said, Josh, when I said about fight, you know, that focus on the fight, not the fright, and you said it's our fight. What I was going through, we were going through together. Good morning, everyone. Hello to Robin at home. We no, I love it when every morning when you say, you know, Robin at home. You know, we got some news from Robin. I learned a lot by how you shared the fight. And by sharing it, you've, you know, helped countless people. And that is a huge, huge lesson. Welcome home. Welcome back. Thank you. So good. Onward. Onward and upward. And upward. But I knew that before I would be able to return to the set and to my GMA family, my heart was calling me to the place where this journey began. It was time to go home, and I needed to do that before I could come home to GMA. I needed to be on my family's home turf to see some of the oldest friends I've, I've ever had. And she went south. You can see all of Robin's triumphant journey from home back to the Good Morning America sat on a very special edition of 2020 right here on ABC tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern.